Next, we'll take a look at adding a contact form in Weebly. We'll head over to our collection of modules in the left-hand toolbar and choose the contact form and just drag it right over into the website. I want my contact form to appear on the left side of the page with my contact information and map on the right, so I'm just going to adjust the map by bringing it up under the contact info. And then we can work with our form by clicking once on it to get our contact sensitive menu. So in form editing mode, we can check our form options first of all. In the uh, advanced field for this, we'll add a name for our form and this is on the contact page, so I'll leave contact form. And we'll make sure that the email address is correct. The email address that you use to sign into your site will always be the default, so you can change it here if you need to. You can also add a custom confirmation. Weebly provides one that's kind of generic. I like to say that the information has been sent and maybe add uh, a customized thank you. Oops, let's spell sent right. And you can also send people to a link. So if you wanted to have a page thanking them for completing their form or providing some further information, you could do that too. And then you can also adjust the spacing and you can change the wording on the submit button or place it on the left or right. I usually like to change this to send just because that sounds a little friendlier. Okay, so let's get into editing the form itself. Once the uh, settings are in place, you can get right into any of the form fields by clicking on them. And so you might start by changing the title, um, something like uh, get in touch. You can also just delete this field if the uh, page heading is enough. You can click on any of the default fields that uh, Weebly pro provides like name to edit their features. And the main thing that you might wanna change here is making things required or not using the required toggle. You can also provide some extra instructions that'll appear below the field, adjust the spacing and uh, change the width. This will vary depending on where the form is and what type of form it is. And in this area, you can add additional fields too. When you get into the form editing mode, you'll notice that the modules change and you can add things like a set of checkboxes. We might want to use this to say something like uh, interested in so that when people are contacting you, you can guide them toward your services. So in our example, we might say websites, graphic design, um, training, things like that. You can add additional options if you want. And then just be sure to hit save. And you can also add things like a radio button. And what's the difference between a checkbox and a radio button, you might be wondering. Well, radio buttons are exclusive. So you would say choose one and mean it literally. And for the options, you could say, um, um, let's see, right away. Oh, how about uh, urgent? I cannot type today. Urgent or a uh, future project. So we're asking people how um, immediate is their need for service. So uh, a radio box can is a toggle. It's one or the other. A checkbox can be multiple items. So that's the difference between those two. And uh, there are also some nice features like drop downs. If you have an extended plan, you can have a file uploader. There's some cool features here, but let's say that we're done with our, our form. We can click the orange save button. And remember it's not live until we click publish. So we'll do that upper right corner. And I like to keep a tab open so I can just quickly refresh and see my changes. So on the contact page, I hit refresh and we see our form. <clears throat> now you always want to make sure that you test your form all the way through as a user with a live email address. So I'm going to use Mochi's email address and I'm going to say that she's interested in websites and it's for a future project. And I'll just say that I'm testing the form. Scroll down to the bottom, hit send, and we should see our confirmation message. 
and there it is. And we would just want to make sure that we receive the submission in our own email address, uh, email inbox, and that we get the uh, confirmation from the sender in the sender's email box. If I go back to our site and click once on the form module, you can also view the entries, the submissions that you've received. So if we click once on that we'll see a pop-up that shows any messages that have been sent, which is kind of cool. So that is a quick look at how to add a contact form and edit a contact form on your Weebly site.